With growing infants and toddlers comes a growing appetite, which is why it's important to ensure that your child is getting the nutrients they need while developing healthy eating habits. Here to tell us how to make every bite count when it comes to the little ones is research neuroscientist and expert in the fields of nutrition, diet, and addiction. We have Dr. Nicole Avina joining us. Welcome. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Happy to have you on. So every five years, the U.S. Department of Agriculture updates the dietary guidelines to promote healthy eating. What's new and important in the 2021 update for parents to know about infant and toddler nutrition? Yeah, so one of the biggest changes that we're going to be seeing in these new dietary guidelines is that there's a really big emphasis on early life nutrition. So focusing in on the nutrition that we're getting in pregnancy and in the first thousand days of life, that goes through age two. We're finding from the research that it's critical for brain development, for cognitive functioning, and even for proper immune development later in life. And you mentioned how these are affecting early life nutrition. Why are the first 1,000 days of a child's life so important? Yeah, so we know that all the development happens during this period. And what scientists have discovered over the past few years is that nutrition during this critical window is important in terms of health outcomes later in life. So there's a lot more emphasis with the new guidelines placed on helping families with little ones to really make sure that the kids are getting all the nutrients that they need early on. Okay, and so what are some tips for parents of picky eaters? Yeah, so this is always the challenge because as much as we'd like our, you know, two-year-old to eat everything we put in front of them, that isn't always the case. But I think it's important to just try a variety of things. So if you have, you know, peanut butter as one of your child's favorite foods, pair it with something like red bell peppers to dip it in. Offer yogurt, for instance, as, you know, a nutritional source. When you're thinking about making good choices for the whole family, think about something like Chilean farm salmon, for example, that's a great nutritional powerhouse because it's loaded with lots of nutrition for the whole family and it's got the proper texture for the little ones as well. And I think lastly, if you're, you know, really trying to make sure that you're filling those nutritional gaps that you can't get with food, think about something like a toddler nutritional drink like Enfagro is great because it's in a powder form and you can add it to yogurt, you can add it to other foods that your child is enjoying. And it really helps to fill those nutritional gaps you can't always get from foods alone. That's so helpful. I was definitely a picky eater growing up and probably still a little bit, but I think you gave some great tips. So what else can parents do to ensure their children are getting the right nutrients? Yeah, I think variety is key. And this is one of the things that's really a challenge, especially for those of us who have little ones at home. It can be really difficult to get kids to try different things. And that's actually an ingrained, inborn defense mechanism that they've developed to kind of be a little bit wary of new foods. But it's really important to try to work with your children to develop this variety in their diet, because the only way that they're really going to be able to get all the different micronutrients that they need to stay healthy and grow well is to have a variety of foods. So eat the rainbow, eat a variety of different colored foods, encourage them to try new things. And if it comes back to it, I think offering a nutritional drink as a supplement is a really great way to go. Great, and I see you got some yogurt on your table over there. So how could we, what are we supposed to use the yogurt for to just better create those healthy habits? Yeah, so I love using yogurt as a swap when I'm baking, when I'm making up pancakes. I mean, you can really just put it into pretty much any recipe that you're working with as a great way to get extra protein in your child's diet. And it's really great for adults too because we could all use some extra protein as well. So I think it's something that you can offer to your child as a healthy snack but then also offer it as, you know, a dipping sauce or something that if they're, you know, having chicken breasts, maybe they're going to dip it in a little bit of a side of plain yogurt with maybe a little honey drizzled on it. Really just try to get creative and, you know, work these different types of healthy foods into your child's diet. And it can really, really make a big difference in their health outcomes. I agree. And do you think it's important that parents kind of practice what they teach? So if they see their parents eating healthy, maybe the kids will try more of these foods that maybe they might be picky about, but if they see their give it a go yeah absolutely i think you know kids are really mimicking what their parents and older siblings are do especially in the toddler age so it is really important that we practice what we preach and if you know we're having a healthy meal i really advocate that parents don't get in the habit of cooking one meal for their child one meal for their family and one meal for you know other people 
I think that it's really more important to have an entire meal that the whole family enjoys together that has things that are appropriate for all the ages of the people in the family. And that really encourages kids to, you know, adopt those healthy eating styles that their parents are showing them how to do. I completely agree with you. Do you got any more last minute tips for us before we wrap up? Yeah, so I really, again, come back to having the variety, but also having your kids be involved. I have little kids myself at home, and, you know, it, they're never too young to help out in the kitchen, whether it's, you know, washing off potatoes or fruits and vegetables or helping, you know, to count out beans or just all these different things to get kids involved in the kitchen can really make a difference and get them excited about food, excited about good health, and excited about nutrition and learning how to take care of their bodies. I love that. Getting the kids to help with cooking, maybe even some of the cleaning. That is great. Thank you so much, Dr. Nicole. Great advice. And um, for more information, make sure to follow us on social at Your CA Life.